Today we're going to be diving into slash reviewing slash trying on a trendy pair of jeans. Honestly, like the most trendy pair of jeans that I've seen in recent times. And that is from Abercrombie. Now you might think, ah, I have residual trauma from hearing that name and me too. But apparently Abercrombie has kind of started to do a little bit of a rebrand it seems. Now a lot of you know that Abercrombie is incredibly expensive. It used to be really popular back in like the 90s and 2000s and I feel like recently with maybe brands like Hollister that are trying to become more size inclusive and also just with brands realizing that they're missing out on a massive amount of money if they don't cater to plus size people, it seems that Abercrombie has started extending their sizing. So. I don't know, I have quite a few conflicting thoughts about it, which I'll get into, but I ordered two pairs of jeans from their website, so I'm gonna be trying them on for you right here on camera. I have literally not even opened the package yet, so we're gonna find out together. But taking it back a little bit, Abercrombie now has extended their size range to go from a size triple zero to a size 24, which when you look at it head on, you're like, that sounds amazing, considering the fact that I believe they only went up to like a size 10 in previous years. I mean, that's a lot of addition sizing. It seems that Abercrombie is possibly trying to forget about the fact that their CEO back maybe like 10 years ago or so said some really horrific comments about fat people. This came from an interview with their old CEO. His name was Mike Jeffries, by the way, and he said he doesn't want larger people shopping in his store. He wants thin and beautiful people. <laughs> LOL. He doesn't want his core customers to see people who aren't as hot as them wearing his clothing. People who wear his clothing should feel like they're one of the cool kids. In every school, there are the cool and popular kids, and then there are the not so cool kids. Candidly, we go after the cool kids. We go after the attractive, all-American kid with a great attitude and a lot of friends. A lot of people don't belong in our clothes and they can't belong. Are we exclusionary? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you get the point, right? Like, he's just a trash person. He is not the CEO anymore. But this is an important part of the video to acknowledge because I actually had no idea about those comments until a friend of mine sent me the article on Instagram and I was like, Oh, so he doesn't work for the company more, which is great news. And it seems like they're trying to break away from that old reputation that they had. So I'm all about brands offering more inclusive sizing. I genuinely think it's a great step in the right direction. It really baffles me that clothing brands launch without accommodating to a wide range of sizes, just like it blows my mind that makeup brands come out and don't accommodate a wide range of shades. But it does seem like they're taking steps in the right direction. So I kind of wanted to support that. I noticed also when I was ordering the jeans that they do have a section on the checkout. You're given the option to round up to the nearest dollar and that money goes towards the Trevor Project, which I think is great. These jeans are $100, FYI. They are mostly all $99. So I had mixed feelings going into this because according to their size chart, I would be dead on as a size 16. I'm typically a 14 slash 16 in jeans, but then I also saw people saying that you should size up like an entire size in these jeans, which to me would be an eight but I know that that would be too big. So I guess we're just gonna find out together. So I just wanted to mention that before we go any further, if you are in that size 24 range, it's, it, you can't size up. So when they're like, well, make sure you size up, but you're at the highest size, you can't size up after that. I wish there was a little bit more universal sizing in this world, but maybe that'll happen someday. So yeah, like I said, these are just incredibly trendy jeans. I'm seeing them everywhere on TikTok recently, as well as Instagram. I feel like a lot of people are talking about them especially a lot of like mid to plus size bloggers. I saw a lot of really amazing glowing reviews, but I did also see reviews from plus size people that were not great. The size grading clearly needs a lot of work and it does sort of leave you to the question like, is this sizing just kind of performative? Like, is this sizing actually because they want clothes that are gonna fit fat people? Or is it just because they wanna be able to say, yeah, we go up to a size 37 or 24 and kind of be done with it. I saw some people online try on the size 37 and it didn't fit. It was just incredibly like laughable, the sizing that they called a size 37 or a 24. I don't know what the situation is gonna be like with me, but I cannot wait any longer. So let's open this up and try these on. Real quick, before we go any further, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Warby Parker. Warby Parker is committed to offering exceptional vision care services, both in store and online. They offer eye exams, prescription glasses, 
sunglasses and contact lenses. Glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses, and sunglasses are also available, which I think is amazing. They also now offer blue light filter lenses, which is what I'm super interested in. I spend a lot of time staring at a computer screen. So how it works is you go on their website, you take a quiz, and then you are sent a home try-on kit. It comes with up to five different lenses for you to try on at home. It also includes a free return shipping label, so you're able to try on everything, see what you like, and then send them back for free. This first pair is called the Simon. We also have the Durand, which is in the crystal color. I really, really love this. The quality just feels really, really nice. Next up, we have the Ainsley frame, which I was super inspired because I've been watching The Morning Show on Apple TV Plus, and I was really inspired by Jennifer Aniston's glasses that she wears. These are so chic. Next, we have the frame called Chamberlain, and these are in a tortoise shell. I love this sort of like more rectangle or like square look for glasses. So make sure you click the link in the description box below. You can go to warbyparker.com slash Carrie Dayton and you can try on your five pairs of glasses for free at home. Okay, so we'll take a quick look here. It may come as no surprise to you that I got a light pair of denim because that's all I wear. So these are the ankle straight ultra high rise. These are the ever popular, ever trendy. And then I also got this pair, which is called the... What are you? This pair is called the High Rise Acid Wash Mom Jeans. These are a little bit different, but I thought I would try them out regardless because, you know, sometimes, honestly, brands do be doing the most and you'll try on two pairs of jeans that are the exact same size from the exact same brand and sometimes they don't fit. So we'll see. So far they seem pretty good quality, honestly, not bad, but they do, I don't know, they do look a little small to me. They have an ever, ever, ever so slight amount of stretch. These ones do feel like they have a little bit more. I mean, slightly, but honestly not much. So, okay, let's try these on and see if the hype is worth it. So here I am, pantsless. I strategically wore a long shirt today so we can change without getting demonetized by YouTube. You know what I mean? They're a lot more distressed than I thought they were gonna be. There's a lot of rips and a lot of holes. All right, here we go, one leg good. Oh, these actually might be okay. Maybe. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I just heard something rip. Maybe it was just the tag. Are we okay? Is everyone okay? Oh, they are a little tight, but you know what? Oh God, I'm scared. Okay. <sighs> My first thoughts are that I actually maybe should size up because it is just slightly tight right here around the stomach, as you can see, especially if I were to like sit down. But I mean, that happens with all of my jeans, but there is a little bit more uh, spillover if you will, than I would typically prefer. But it does also make me think that maybe if I did size up like an entire size that they would eventually be too loose. So I'm kind of confused by it. I sized up recently in my favorite pair of Madewell mom jeans and it was a bad decision because now they're honestly just too big. Even when I wash them, they look great for the first like five minutes, but then they start getting really baggy down here. And I don't know if these are meant to be that way. I think they're just meant to be like a straight jean that are slightly tight and kind of more like a mom jean. So I don't know, I mean, these are pretty cute. I'm not really sure how I feel about this like shredded knee situation here. I will say as far as the high-waistedness goes, these are actually pretty great. If you're spending a hundred bucks on jeans, you kind of want them to tick a bunch of different boxes, right? And for me, one of the main things that I look for is if something's gonna cover my belly button. I have a really long torso, so my belly button sits up pretty high and these actually do cover it really well so I could wear like a crop top or be able to easily tuck something in and it'll be sitting at the place that I want it to be at. So yeah, here's what they look like in the back. I'm not blown away like some other people are. These do actually fit, like I will give them that. They do actually fit. I was able to button them, but I would prefer a little bit more comfort, <laughs> especially in the waist area. They fit kind of everywhere else, but I don't feel like, like if you asked me to like drop down and sit on the ground right now, I think these would split. So that's probably an indication, you know? I would consider these to be more of like a curvy fit and these aren't the curvy jeans. Like I purposefully didn't get the ones that were labeled as curvy because I don't have that like smaller snatched waist. So I'm confused a little bit. That could be part of the problem that a lot of other plus size people have been having with these jeans as well because not everyone's body is shaped like this. If there was just a tiny bit more room in the waist, I think these would be great, but I am starting to get a stomach ache 
full disclosure. It just, like, my intestines feel like they need to breathe. Let's move this along quickly so that I don't have any health concerns. All right, here we go, pair number two. These are, again, just so you can see, the same exact size. They are a 16 or 33 long. That's the only difference is that they should be a little bit longer. And the only reason I got the long is because that's all they had in this size. All right, so let's see how these fit. So far they feel okay. Not too bad. Getting a little tighter. Ugh. Oh my God, I can't do it. Oh my God. Oh my God, this freaking button. I am in a full body sweat. Right off the bat, they're nowhere near as high waisted. I don't know if you're able to tell by just looking at it this way, but my belly button is like coming out. So it's definitely a lot shorter. Like I would constantly feel like I needed to pull them up. These don't feel at all like a high waisted jean to me. They feel more like a mid rise. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure tall sizes do have like a tiny, tiny bit higher of a rise. The other thing that I noticed right off the bat was it's actually a way better fit. Like these just feel a lot more comfortable, have way more room in the leg. And I don't know if it's because these are a mom jean and those are a straight jean, but these feel really true to size to me. So I don't know if it's just that style, if it's the one that's like super high waisted but this even has a tiny bit of room right here on the side on the waist which is so funny because it's again the same size I don't really see how jeans being higher up on your stomach would affect the size so much but it seems like they do so these just feel like a lot more wearable I feel a lot more mobile in these I can like move around I could definitely sit on the ground no problem I'm falling this just doesn't have that same sort of like curvy fit and I double checked the first pair of jeans to make sure that I didn't accidentally get a curvy pair they were not if they were high-waisted I'd consider it but the fit is definitely better in these so it's interesting that so many people had experiences needing to size up and in that style I definitely would but in this style it's perfect so for me while this is a much better fit I just need more support up here and I'm not getting that so bummer that they don't work out at least hopefully now you'll have a little bit more of an idea of what the sizing looks like no matter what when you're trying a new brand I feel like you do need to try on a couple sizes because even if you go exactly by the sizing chart, it's really not ever accurate. It's also worth noting again that I find really interesting the fact that I'm, I have two of the exact same size in different styles of jean and they fit me completely differently. So for me ordering the same size jeans, there's even differences in that. So it, it makes sense that people who are wearing size 24 or size 22 aren't even having them fit their body because it seems like the sizing is like a little bit all over the place, I'm just being honest. Although these jeans are ultra trendy and very popular right now. I personally don't get the hype, but there are many people who will and many people who do. So that's the beauty of it. We can all have different opinions, but to me, is it worth it? No, not really. It's okay. It's just okay. I'm very lukewarm about it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. What were your thoughts? Do you think that you'd be purchasing these jeans? Have you already purchased them before? Did you have an experience similar to mine or different? Leave it all in the comments below. If you wanna see me try out any more trendy items, whether that be clothing, home decor, trends, what have you, definitely leave it in the comments. I love getting video requests from you all. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.